So Blaney always gives us some colorful radio. He has a short temper, but this is what he's discussing. Look in front of him. He was in front of the six. He was in front of the 17 of Busher. So, Jeff, you and I had this conversation. Matt says you want to pin at a certain number. That's what engineering says. But what Blaney is complaining about is that's fine. But, Kim, you have also lost track position. You are now two cars further back, and now you're going to lose time while you try to pass the six. Obviously not what they wanted in a very frustrated Ryan Blaney, and this isn't the first time that we see him get hot-headed behind the wheel, so I asked crew chief Jonathan Hassler what he does in these moments, and he said he cannot get baited by Blaney being upset. The best thing Jonathan can do is to just be silent and try and get Blaney to refocus himself in these moments of flared tempers. Playoff driver getting frustrated early. There's still 36 laps to go in the first stage after green flag pit stops. Kyle Larson and Bubba Wallace cycle back to the front. That's my team out there. If our network goes Stage one winner. As soon as he hits, spark. You see him go down, catch the fuel on fire. They actually interviewed the changer, and he said that he just didn't get a good plug. And now this is the last pit stop for the 24. Same thing. You see sparks in the rear, catches the fuel on fire, catches the tire changer on fire. There's fire on his left arm, his left quad. It is dangerous on pit road. The tire changer from last week. Busher, there you go. There's Oren Osawaski, the rear tire changer for 24. Telling AMR, nope, I'm all set. Chad Canals checking on his man. So pit road, pressure's on for the drivers at the playoffs. Pressure's on for the pit crews. Impressive work. For the restart, there'll be 11 laps to go in stage one. Bubba Wallace trying to take advantage of a great pit stop. Can he stay out in front of the five of Larson? A good push from the 20. Christopher Bell trying to take advantage of his good pit stop as well. Larson makes that bottom work. He's making the top work. Now the bottom. See Bob Wallace trying to block any run from Christopher Bell. Christopher to the outside. 23 and 20 side by side. Off a of turn four down the front straightaway. All the way down to the grass. Running on the apron there as he crossed the finish line. Under 10 to go now at stage one. Three wide here. Kyle Busch. Joey Logano and Michael McDowell. Fighting for stage points. Top 10 receive them at the end of the stage. Who's going to get them? Larson now the three car length advantage to him. But coming off of Darlington, we knew that that five team was very strong as the playoffs began. Great three wide battle right here that's continuing through turns one and two. AJ Armadinger on the outside. Gonna be able to stay there. Some contact. 43 trying to come up the racetrack just a little bit. Eric Jones. AJ was not wanting to give that outside line up. Bowman fighting on the bottom in the 48 car. Alex Bowman, maybe a little aggressive blocking against Suarez at Darlington a week ago. That was. Late in the race, five laps to go. Yeah, this first block, the ball was okay, but that second block was just excessive. This late in the year, two guys not in the playoffs have had frustrating years, and this is what you see. A little, that, little bit of that is, hey, I'm not going to lift. It's too late in the year. I'm too frustrated. I need this spot. We'll see more of that as this year winds down. Now only four to go. We see Bowman. So running in the 16th spot, Kim. And as we talk about that, Alex Bowman, Daniel Suarez incident last week, I checked in with both the teams this morning to see how they're feeling. For Alex Bowman, that team, they said they have forgotten it. They are just looking forward. But for the 99 team, crew chief Travis Mack told me their memory is strong and they are still salty about what happened last weekend. Yeah, it's, you know, these things happen and drivers have conflict with each other and Eventually, you got to get over it. You got to focus on you and your team and move forward. Under three laps to go as Blaney was frustrated earlier. I think he's got to be pretty happy with his car, Rick. I talked to him this morning. He had also not very high expectations. 
was concerned coming into this race that the, his car was going to be good enough. And here he is sitting, sitting here running fifth with two laps to go in this stage. Now things turned around for him as he's going to try to take the spot away from Chastain in fourth position that Chastain holds. Got some momentum down the back straightaway, Rick. He's not going to really look to the inside here, but Chastain keeps giving them the outside line. Now Chastain up the racetrack, taking away the air of the 12 knees to be able to maximize the speed there. A little bit of a push from the 45 to Reddick down this front straightaway. They're going to draft up over the back bumper of this one car. They got to decide in the corner where are you going to go? Where does one go so I can go to the other part of the racetrack? The one up the racetrack, 12 to the bottom. Blaney fighting. He's a car length away now. Again, there's another point that he could potentially gain now. A big run for Chastain as Larson is going to win his fourth stage of 2023 and at Kansas. Larson gets a stage one win. Bubba Wallace is second bell. Chastain and Blaney top five. Retta Hamlin, Kozlowski, Elliott and Harvin all finishing in the top ten of stage one. It was an eventful first stage. Playoff drivers, Martin Trex Jr., an issue with a right rear tire goes down. He goes into the wall, as does Austin Dillon and another playoff driver. As the 24 spins, Larson wins.